life work the mixer spins round and round the mixer spins round and round and then come the machines your life work construction it offers a very satisfying occupation and this requires training of the mind This machine cuts grooves, grooves, grooves. Make money. I was able to buy myself a brand new truck. I've got two new snowmobiles. Got the house. I got lots of toys. Lots of electronics, computers, TVs, a whole bunch of stuff. Coming out of high school, you know, a lot of my friends are still making just minimum wage. Here it's starting base pay for, a, for an apprentice carpenter, $17.75, so I'm not doing too bad for myself, you know, I can pay rent. If you, like, get a job as an apprentice, like, you make good money, and it just keeps getting more and more and more. <laughs> my truck has paid off. Uh, you know, I have money in RSPs, I have my own condo, so uh, it definitely does pay for a lot of things. If, if you're going to own the business, there's no real ceiling to the amount of money that can be made in the construction industry. There's lots of money to be made in commercial construction. Like when you get hired on as an apprentice, then that's where the money gets jacked up. Learn skills. I guess your basic skill and the one you would you really want to know is your map. You're learning a lot of skills like uh, you know what with building with wood, using using aluminum, uh, using a lot of a lot of like skilled tools and stuff like that. So we were tearing everything down, doing demo, and then we started framing all the the walls that are up right now. I learned how to drywall. I learned how to stud. I learned how to put up framework. I learned how to insulate a basement. I learned how to mix mortar. I learned how to put up a stairwell. Uh, Millrate does work on moving machineries, uh, anything with a motor, conveyors, turbines, uh, this kind of stuff in the background. You have to have some basic knowledge of how electronics work for, for when we're doing great stuff like highway work. When we do in town work, it's all kind of feel. You work with, with two cranks, and the more you, you crank, it'll adjust the, the pitch of the screed, and that'll give you your, your depth and slope. Go to school. So we read about the classes at Winnipeg Tech. And there was the industrial mechanic class. Found it very interesting. And uh, I was like, that's what I want to do. You start off like as a laborer or as a, just a trainee. And then they give you options if you want to go back to school or get hired on as an apprentice. To further my knowledge, I was sent down to uh, the, the Volvo Road Institute in Phoenix, Arizona, where they spend a week with you, hands-on, teaching you how to pave. Construction is a career. There's every different trade on the site. Electricians, plumbers, scaffolders, carpenters, uh, steel workers. Do you You'll know right away if this isn't what you want to do. If you don't want to be one, like one of my guys forming concrete or banging nails away all day, and you want to get into the electrician aspect, you actually, on the site like this, you'll make friends with the electrician. There's so many different ways that you can go with it. Like, if you don't like drywalling, then there's, like, you can do plumbing, and it's good money, and, like, it keeps you busy, and it's good, like, hard work. No, this is something I want to do as a career. I plan on getting my red seal, and then initially, once I get my red seal, I'm thinking maybe I could be a contractor or maybe even get into some engineering. Over the course of the years I've moved up. I've been a roller man, I've been an oil distributor operator, and then I got on the screed, I've done some paver work. The only thing I don't do here is drive trucks. Make friends at work. You want to go to work because you're going to see your friends and you get to work with them every day and it's you know what, it's something I've always liked. It's like a family, you know, like sometimes you're away from home for a long period of time, so when you do go out of town and work, or, you know, you need that little bonding with people, you know, 
just go shoot some pool after work. You do definitely meet a lot of friends and down the road you'll bump into a guy that uh, say was a plumber and he worked on a job a couple months ago or even a year from now. So it is nice, it's refreshing. Oh yeah, you know, we'll, we'll go out and have a beer with each other afterwards. Take pride. Everyone's coming to see this place and they're all going to know that I had, a, I had a hand in it and I want them to see one building that they're never going to forget. It's, uh, it's pretty fulfilling, you know, at one point it'll be, it'll be finished and in 75 years you could say, you know, I was a part of that and I, I helped build it. It's uh, just the satisfaction that later on when you, let's say, drive by, you're like, yeah, I've worked on that. And other people will do the same thing, oh yeah, Martin worked on that. And then people are like, no way. Be driving with passengers and I can look over and say I had a part in building that road, it's, it's a good feeling. You get this really, really good feeling, this great feeling of accomplishment. It's, it just feels really good. We have built this! Your life work.